Hey guys, um, let's go through some uh, interesting and key features about the uh, Cleveland um, Ford Cleveland heads, 2V or 4V. In this instance here, we've got a uh, 2V Cleveland close chamber head, and I'll just run some things with you guys about these badass heads. So for starters, you basically got a staggered valve arrangement which means, you know, there's your exhaust, there's your intake, and they're offset. They're not in a linear form like you would find on a factory Windsor or even, you know, some other um, makes like small block chevs or what have you. Yeah, so what I mean is that's your staggered um, valve arrangement. And I'm not sure if the camera um, set up here can do this justice. I'm not sure if the angles are right. But anyway... Um, that's pretty much this straight edge I have is pretty much the, the center of the cylinder and um, uh, what's happening here is um, that's the center of the cylinder and look where the port is it's 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 all the way there and then you have a shorter end um, when it comes to the exhaust um, port which is a you know it's a pretty good ratio um, you know, the Cleveland's being a little longer on the intake end because the Cleveland's tend to be large on the intake ports, you know, both 2V and 4V. So the ratio there compared to, you know, a shorter travel here, getting the gases out to your primaries, you know, is, is probably beneficial in the design of this Cleveland head. But, you know, if you compare it to other uh, straight line arrangements, you know, where the where the valve's more over to the center of the cylinder and the exhaust um, valve is next to it also. Um, you know, they uh, tend to have a longer travel in the um, exhaust port uh, measurement and, you know, they also have a longer uh, measurement on the intake port because obviously that center there would be all the way up here, you know, and then, you know, some other heads you know, they say they tend to be a little bit more torquey because the longer the intake port, you know, they do say, it, you know, it promotes a bit of torque in that aspect. Yeah, so also with the Clevelands, the um, the valves are, can are canted. So basically meaning they're on an angle. And, you know, as far as the head castings, the, the, the valve guides, the valve guide bosses, within the factory castings are machined on an angle and that's how the Cleveland heads are set up. So basically uh, the intake valve you see here, it's not pointing directly up. In this instance, it's canted that way, away from the cylinder wall, um, pretty much on the short turn and on the side wall, it canters sort of inboard and to the side look to the center and as far as the exhaust it's opposite to that so it can to so it's not upright like that um like i said guys this camera it's not doing it justice but yeah so that's like say upright okay it canters that way yeah so if you picture that the cylinder to be there say four inches and basically from about this point all the way to about that point which um, when you look at when you look at it, that's the short turn of the intake port, and that's your side wall of your intake port. And basically, what's happening is instead of being upright like that, it's angled that way. So away from the um, the side cylinder wall, and away from the short turn or from that cylinder wall there, and it's basically trying to direct its way to the center of the ball. Yeah, so the, this camera angle is making it difficult to see. But let's have a physical view. So you'll see there, like I said, it starts to unshroud that whole section there. And this is traveling outways towards the center. So you'll see it there. I'll start doing it slowly. And you can see it. The distance is moving apart there and there and there. And if I close it back in, that distance starts to tighten up. So that's basically the canted in these Cleveland um, uh, heads. And that's all it means. So basically, if that's the bore there roughly, as you can see, 
And now I'll just lift this intake valve and you can see that area pointed out unshrouding and that's the angle it comes off at. So you can see that there working its way up, unshrouding and now that is closing. Here's a better view of the intake valve opening on an angle to the deck of the surface. So see that angle difference? That's what it means by canted. Not only the staggered arrangement, it's also canted. Look at that angle. Badass. So again, you can see this entire area here that becomes unshrouded when the valve lifts. And that's basically the side wall of your cylinder and your intake port. And that's your short turn right there. So I'll just demonstrate that for you. And you can see that angling out, closing back in, angling out, unshrouding, closing back in. Okay, so if we put this straight edge onto the deck there, and let's just say that's where the valve's sitting, it's not, this is over exaggerated explanation here, but look at that. And now if we're, you know, lifting the valve, look how it moves away and then it canters back. Let's do that again, and that's moving away. So see what I mean, guys? So if we do the same thing on the other end, so basically the back wall of the intake port, and I mean, this is an over-exaggerated thing. That's like an inch lift there. But yeah, you can see that it's touching the straight edge. We're on the surface of the deck, and now look at it going back to its seat back up and see that see that angle that's canted yeah so what's interesting is like I said as this valve as the intake valve opens so as your charge is coming in obviously like I said all that becomes unshrouded and that's basically the short turn but what's more interesting is that the valve shrouds that area there so as the charge comes in and if you look at um if it you know if it's flowing on the back wall like from the roof past the valve boss and you know there would be um you know like a low pressure area all here gushing out and it'll be like a like a, a squish spray effect all in there and in the short turn where things maybe suffer on these heads and you know that side wall and it's very unshrouded in that. So, yeah, interesting. So again, when this valve tends to open out to its angle, it tends to shroud that area, but you know, it may be beneficial in doing that as far as, you know, the charge coming in and getting squished in that factor and getting dispersed um, into the combustion in that, in that way. And then all its weak points here, it unshrouds all that to help, you know, with some air and fuel flow in that uh, section. So the cantered definitely will help out a, um, you know, a, a cylinder, that's for sure. Yeah, guys, so I'm not going to get into the dynamics of how I think things work around here or its design, because it'll just be opinion and speculation. So I'll leave that to the comments or, you know, I'll leave it to those um, professional articles that are out there. But basically, yeah, I'm just explaining this canted, staggered arrangement. And you can see here, unshroud, close, unshroud. And if we come on the other end, it shrouds and it shrouds. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so moving on to the exhaust. That's a little different story, canted as well, but at a different and not so much an opposite angle to that. And you're gonna find this pretty interesting. So the exhaust, when it comes up, that's basically unshrouded in that area there, which is um, not the short turn of the exhaust. Um, port it's the back wall and sort of the side wall of the exhaust port and now the port runs out that way guys 
so basically that's there and runs off on that angle not straight up so the exhaust valve lifts sort of on that angle and i'll show you but yeah so very interesting it's basically opposite to that and not quite opposite it's on a different canted angle as well so it's basically from about that point it unshrouds all the way to about that point okay and then the same thing's happening on this end which it tends to over shroud that chamber area there and i'll just show you in more detail so again guys the camera is not doing it justice but yeah so i'll just lift that for you so basically unshrouding that area over shrouding in this area and that's the angle the exhaust travels at and i'll lift it right up and you can just see it getting close to the chamber quench um there and then it moves away over shrouds in that area and tends to fall back in place but unshrouding the back wall of the exhaust and a little bit of the side wall interesting yeah so you can just see a, a better view there I'll just lift the exhaust valve up and just see the angle that it's at compared to the you know the deck surface of the head there mm. and that's just what it is and you know it totally moves away from that entire area also a little bit of the sidewall at the back there and it totally unshrouds that but then in saying that it sort of blocks and shrouds this area here of the chamber so it's sort of blocking the short turn area but opening up the back wall and roof area so again i've got my straight edge on the deck there and again this is just an over exaggerated physical view but yeah let's place the valve up down my straight edge and let's lower it and see it move away and back down to its seat and that's the short turn of the exhaust port so see that it's touching there and it moves away so in that area there as the valve opens in that angle it's actually shrouding that chamber on that end that entire side of me and I'll show you the other end okay so we'll do this end I'll just place my straight edge onto the deck let that kiss that's already about 500 lift there <laughs> okay so it's touching right there let's go further lift and you can see it moving away from my straight edge so see the way that there we go it touches again it moves away and it moves further and further back into the seat so that area of the chamber the back of the exhaust port and the side wall of the exhaust port all in there gets unshrouded as the valve moves out Yeah, so basically the two valves are moving in this direction and that's moving in that direction closer to one another, but not, you know, so sort of moving inboard and moving that way as well towards um, towards the plug. So keeping that angle sort of like in a cup motion, cup position as well. And I'll just show you that. You can see both valves tend to unshroud the back there and both let's do an over exaggerated scenario so you get an idea and look at that it's basically like a V in the middle so sort of like a cup and they are slightly both on different angles also so they're not just canted purely just opposite to each other the exhaust has still got a slight different canted angle compared to the intake and you know guys this is um there's a better view all that and if you lift it high enough they eventually meet and try and kiss and now that's over exaggerated but now you gotta remember this um explanation demonstration here's on 2v so we've got a good gap here between the valves and with the 4v obviously that with their large intake and exhaust valves that a 4v has it gets real close here so you need to really watch the lift 
and you know your cam selection in timing all that you don't want a 4v 4v valves touching each other things like that So there you go guys, the Cleveland head, staggered valve arrangement, um, exhaust away from each other, they're not next to each other like the early, you know, like whatever, small block chev heads. So staggered valve arrangement, canted valve angles also, a little different angles to one another. They are trying to meet towards the middle, but at different angles. The intake port uh, has a longer, um, you know, road to work with compared to its, you know, offset um, exhaust valve here, which then has a shorter exhaust port uh, travel. So the ratio is there, you know, um, being a Cleveland head, I assume, you know, be a little longer in the travel there, promote a bit of torque to, um, you know, offset the large port that Cleveland's come with. And then it has a short travel, you know, get the go to get the gases out as quick as they can, you know what I mean? And Cleveland heads do suffer a little bit with the exhaust um, design. So, you know, in my opinion, um, I think the canted valve Cleveland heads are the next best thing to, you know, I would say a hemi hemispherical head, that's for sure.